That's something that would be good for you to remember because when you get into chemistry, you're gonna learn that pH is really measuring hydrogen ions that are in solution. I'm gonna talk a whole lot more about that in just a second. Before we get there, let's talk about the pH scale itself, the power of hydrogen scale. We said it goes from zero to 14, where seven is neutral in the middle. The number one thing I really want you to understand about the pH scale is that it is a logarithmic scale. Logarithms, it's something we learn in algebra and a lot of people forget it, they don't care about it, they never understand it other than it's just a button on the calculator. I wanna to explain to you what a log scale means. What a log scale means is it behaves just like the Richter scale for earthquakes that you might have some experience with. Logarithmic means that every tick mark that you go on that scale is not a value of one, it's a jump of tenfold, right? So what it means is if you go from a, you know, a, a Richter scale of one to two or a pH value of one to two, that is not a, a difference in one, because you would think one to two is just one. Every tick mark is tenfold. So it looks like a difference in pH of one, like going from one to two or something like this, is, is just a one, but it's actually 10 times more concentrated acid. Think of it that way. And so, for instance, going from one to two on the pH scale is a tenfold potency of acid, power of hydrogen, okay? Going from five to six, for instance, again, that's a difference of one, but it's a logarithmic, so it's really tenfold difference. And that's why earthquakes behave the same way. You know, you might see an earthquake of five and say, ooh, that was, a, that was a pretty big earthquake. And then somebody else has an earthquake of six and you're thinking, well, that's not much more. Well, actually five to six is 10 times more, 10 times more energy. So that's a huge difference. And if you go from like five to seven on the Richter scale, that's a hundred times of the energy. So, so those scales are compressed like that because of the way the calculation works with, with acids and the concentration of ions. Basically, you use a logarithmic scale when the range of values you have is so enormous that you wouldn't be able to fit the scale on a, on a piece of paper. It wouldn't make sense. So instead of saying every tick mark is one, you just say every tick mark is 10, and that allows you to compress the scale and make it usable for humans. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.